Trackenbrod was born in Greensboro, North Carolina in 1945. She received her Master of Fine Art degree in 1979 after attending the School of Art Institute in Chicago. She is now a professor at the same school where she teaches a course entitled Electric Ritual and Ceremony that she developed herself. Throughout the years, she's worked with digital art as displayed in many one-person and group art exhibits in places that range from Chicago to the IBM Gallery in New York City. She received a number of grants and fellowships along the way at places like Apple and Tektronix, where she used her style uh, to essentially market and further explore their projects. She was heavily influenced by video projections showing the rushing waves of the ocean and how the bot, um, they embodied the spirit of the water. You can see this in one of her earlier pieces called Architect. Extensions, where the figure appears to be underwater and the movement of the line seem to move in a way that represents waves. She's able to expand her mind by being surrounded by natural forces that create physiological sensations locating us in a natural world, phenomena that brush the skin and perhaps enter the body, phenomena that resonate and reverberate in the interstitial spaces around us, cloaking us as a resonant beings in the intimate connection to the natural world. She took to her interpretations of the invisible surroundings, things like light waves, wind currents, and vibrations of electricity, and transformed them into something the world could see and enjoy. Her work is created as if she is looking through a mask. Much of her artwork is greatly inspired by ritual fires and ceremony, ceremonial dances that reveal symbolic, imaginary uh, imagery painted on the body. As you can see in this piece done in 1995 called Power Conduit, uh, she shows the blurry mess of people dancing amongst the flames of roaring fire. It is distorted and the colors provoke a certain interpretation of excitement in the scene. She used the technology of the computer to create algorithmic formulas for her patterns in order to represent the phenomena that she imagined. By using an Apple IIE uh, which she received as a grant, she was able to copy and transform her series of patterns and fabric. She then began using large format printing to combine, recombine the abstract with the real and synthesize the abstracted models with images sculpted with time and light via a video digitizer. She then moved to a computer-based interactive installation where she invited the viewers to become part of her work. Here, the visceral materials of barbed wire and old fence posts with torn cloth caught the barbed wire uh, were used in a conjunction with three computers and monitors placed in black cages. Animated sequences on the monitors were activated by the viewer's presence at the fence. Her main goal was to connect virtual experience with the virtual world.